uh, in today's lecture, we will learn that how we can form this uh, variance covariance matrix uh, in by using three different methods. Again, uh, we will use uh, live data. Here we have uh, three companies and these are uh, tickers. Uh, just go to data and uh, let's see what uh, these symbol stands for. Just click stocks option. Here we can say that uh, uh, these are Visa, uh, Zillow and Ford companies. And now just get stock prices with the help of stock history function. First ticker name, then start date, fix it with the help of F4 key, then end date again, fix it with the help of F4 key. Uh, then we need, let's say, monthly data with no headers and we require just closing prices. Close it and press enter. Here we have uh, stock prices of V company. Similarly, just copy it to next cells. Now we have data for three companies. Now we calculate uh, uh, stock returns of these three companies by using log function, log ending, divided by beginning and copy it to next two cells. Now we have stock returns for these three companies. Uh, first of all, we use Excel function uh, covariance to get uh, uh, this variance covariance matrix. Now looking at this covariance covariance matrix, uh, diagonally, <clears throat> we have variances and off diagonal, we have covariances. <clears throat> That's why it is called variance covariance matrix. Uh, we use uh, Excel function covariance. Select uh, first stock return. Fix it. And again, select first stock return. Now, just copy it to next two cells and check it with the help of F2 key. This, this is covariance between one and one, then covariance between one and two, and then covariance between one and three. Uh, we will repeat the same procedure for second and third row. Again, covariance population. Now in this time, we will fix uh, second stock returns. And then we will take first stock return. And again, we will copy it to the next cells, next two cells. We will check it. Yes, it is OK. And this uh, third one, uh, covariance between two and three. Uh, now uh, for third row, again, covariance population function. Fix third stock returns with the help of F4 key, and then select first stock return and copy it to next cell. Now this is our variance covariance matrix with the help of covariance function. Uh, now we can get it with the help of uh, data analysis. Now just go to data and then data analysis. Select this covariance function. Select the range of stock returns. And then Output range, for example, we want to put output here. Then OK. Now highlight the top elements. First one, second one, and then third one. Uh, these are basically our variances and we need uh, this upper part as well. 
uh, to get this upper part, uh, just uh, copy it, select these three rows and three columns, control C, and with the help of right click, uh, use this one transpose. Now you can see that uh, uh, these variances are repeating. Uh, just use uh, is equal to first element plus first element of first matrix and uh, again first plus first element of second matrix and just after adding these two click enter and then copy it to next cells and then down it copy it down and now because these cells are repeating just delete these variances because <clears throat> These cells were repeating. Uh, now compare these two matrices. Uh, whether <clears throat> it is OK or not. <clears throat> first one. Minus this first one. It means zero. Zero means that. Both methods are giving the same result. Just highlight it. Uh, now the third method. Uh, for third method, uh, this is the formula for V needs R transpose multiplied by R divided by number of observation. To get this R, this R is basically deviations. Now how we can get deviations? First we will calculate average and then we will get uh, these deviations uh, to calculate the average. Here is the average function. Now copy it to the next two cells. Now these are averages. Uh, now we calculate deviations. How we can calculate deviations? Each element of first stock return minus average of first stock return. Fix it with the help of F4 key. And then uh, as we want to move row wise, so we can delete this one. Just let me check it. Let me check it. Yes, no. No, it is OK. Uh, copy it to the next cell. And select these three stock returns, means deviations, and copy it down. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now we can check it whether we have applied the correct formula or not. Is it OK? Yes. Now for second one. And now third one, yes. Now these are basically smaller. Uh, smaller one, smaller two, and so on. Now these are basically deviations. And how we can get uh, uh, this matrix uh, with the help of uh, method 3. So basically we will use this formula. I am highlighting it. Uh, we need uh, uh, 3 by 3 matrix space because we have 3 assets in our portfolio, so we should have a 9 element. Uh, again, I am repeating that in uh, latest version of Excel, like Excel 365, uh, you don't need to allocate the space, but for older version, uh, you need to allocate the space. So I am allocating the space. This one 3 by 3. Now press equal sign, then M mult function, then first transpose. These deviations. And then multiplied by again, this is basically transpose of these deviations and then multiplied by deviations. These are deviations of returns. And then press shift control enter or for Excel uh, 365 just press enter. Uh, now you can uh, now we have not divided it by uh, uh, number of observation, uh, just divide it by uh, number of observations are uh, six, so divide it by six. Uh, 
uh, I want to repeat this one because I have missed uh, to include number of observation. Again, I am writing uh, the formula. Uh, first, allocate the space. Equal sign. M mult. Transpose. Then these deviations. Multiplied by. Deviations. And divided by number of observation uh, that we have six observations, so it should be divided by six. Uh, for older version, you will have to hold down shift control and then press enter. And for latest uh, version of Excel like 365, just press enter. Uh, now you can see that we have the same result. Uh, you can check it whether the result is same or not. Uh, this is the first one minus the last one. Yes, we have zero. So in this video, we have learned that uh, how we can get uh, variance covariance matrix in three different uh, methods. Uh, thank you very much for watching this video.